Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Well, well, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. Today in this episode, we're gonna be diving in a little bit, some things uh, uh, from the past uh, again. Going <laughs> Kinda back. Talking about uh, being in band together and being in school and drumline and- Good old days. Yeah, right, I mean- Well, kind of. <laughs> Good old days. Yeah, maybe. No, maybe They're not. cool, but not that cool. <laughs> it's it's. I think it's now like you're. It's ten years now, right? Since you've been. S yeah, since I graduated. Since you graduated. What is the most memorable things that you remember uh, as far as like the things that you liked or didn't like being in? <laughs> being in high school. Being in high school, I would say, yeah. Yeah. Like starting off with. I'd say some of the things I didn't like was well, obviously, because. It's it's a lot of like how you look. I hated that. Right. I hated that because that's when everyone like started going to the gym and stuff, and I didn't want to. Like fuck right. that. You know? Right. Right. And everyone was like having those gallon of waters, like those <laughs> wrestlers. Remember that? They yeah, have their gallons of gotta water. Gotta drink two jugs today, man. I gotta drink with my water weight and like, bro, no. I don't care. I'm going to lunch. No. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm going to lunch. I'm dude. getting a slice. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to Domino's because it's down the street, but. That was one thing, obviously, just how you look, because, like, yeah. one, you can feel very insecure, yeah, and then yeah. two, it's just, like, that's all girls cared about, and when you get into <clears throat> high school, I feel like that's a lot, you know? Just, true, you know, you start, you start liking people yeah. more and more. Well, maybe not start, but, you know. It's it's been like I mean it is kind of crazy. I mean we we actually have a lot of like history because we've we've been friends for about like 15 <laughs> years now, almost probably, yeah. probably more now. Yeah, how I met him was we I went to Eastwood Knoll's mm -hmm. my 7th grade year, right? So <laughs> I went there and then that's when I met his younger brother, Art, cuz me and him were in the same grade and then Adrian was a grade above us. So Right. Once I got to know Art Talked to him. I was like, oh, this dude's cool. And then, well, with Art came Adrian. So then we started all hanging out together. Right. Been friends ever since. Yeah. It's been fun. Been cool. It's crazy then, how, yeah, a lot of people don't get to say they've been friends for a long period of time, you know? It is a, It is kind of like a, a rare, you know, thing like where I, I don't know how, you know, depending if you were really close to certain friends in high school, which... I mean, I, yeah, we had like acquaintances and all that, but yeah, and that's the thing. Literally, you know. you're the only one I talk to from yeah, high yeah. school, well, right? And art, but he's not. <laughs> he's not here, so right, right. Yeah, meaning he's he's <laughs> in another state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that, not that he's not here. You know. But, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I think because it started with, uh, well, yeah, like me and you. Well, yeah, you met art first, and then me and uh -huh. you were in yeah. band. Yeah, that's what it was. Drumline. Art wasn't in band, but. Yeah. Me and you were, so then me and you, like, were able to hang out, like, just us. And kind right. Of see you. But, yeah, it started in <laughs> seventh grade. <laughs> my, then, my dad, right, was the... Yeah. He was our For percussion For those who don't teacher. know, his dad was the percussion yeah. teacher. He would help out at the middle schools, which is Eastwood Knowles and Eastwood Middle. Yeah. And then Eastwood High School, where we both went to school, so... Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. There's just a lot of stories uh, once we got yeah, to high too, school. too many, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It honestly so. was fun. Like my best year out of, because I was only in band in high school three years, freshman, sophomore, and junior. I didn't do it my senior year. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. So freshman year was by far the most fun. <laughs> it, it was fun. It was so dumb. I, like looking back at it, it was stupid, but it was super fun. It was super fun. Freshman year, I don't remember yeah, doing a lot. Um, no. I was in the front line, but I didn't do, like, I yeah, I wasn't, I didn't care about anything freshman year, honestly. I just was just... Mm kind of just going through it yeah but, so frontline yeah. was basically when you're not on the drum line with like the actual drums like a snare tenor or bass or right. cymbals you you're pretty much in the front line with like the the marimbas the xyla what do you what do you call that like yeah you know? all the all pretty much like yeah all the, the front line instruments like the yeah marimba like you said xylophone bells chimes uh gong bass yeah. drum concert bass drum, all, all that. that extra like kind of stuff yeah which was cool but <laughs> Everyone wanted to be on the line. That's where you wanted to be. The actual, the drum line. Which we right. got there. Right. We Get good. off my drum. <laughs> drum line. <laughs> Get my drum. I'm not as Dr. bad as <laughs> <laughs> We're always quoting that movie. Always. Drum line. With Nick it's Cannon. Quotes. Yeah. Uh, that dude. I wonder where he's at right now. Not as bad as Not as bad as <laughs> Oh, man. I think that that was a really, 
the, that phase of being in, in high school, there was just like very, yeah, very complicated times. But yeah. I think being in band and drumline, like it just like, okay, like the things I didn't like were the drama. I hated it to the mm-hmm. bone. Like I hated all stupid the drama. drama, just stupid bullshit. Like yeah. I hated it. It was dumb. But like being, it was funny though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it was funny though. <laughs> no, we'll get there. <laughs> no, it's the mic. <laughs> nah, we're calling you guys out today. Don't think you're getting away with it, Israel. <laughs> Seven eight. Seven eight. How you doing, man? Nah, we're, dro- we're, dro- we're dropping names today. Yeah, yeah. I think everybody ha- had their own personalities. Being in drumline, I think, uh, and then in band in general, like you, you have you meet so many different people and bunch of weirdos. Right, right. <laughs> We're all like these. Hey, we're weird too, but in our own. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not going to deny that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We were very nerdy, very just. Yeah. We just kind of like, it's it's, like being in band. I always felt like we were like the misfits too, in a way, you know, like we didn't really, like I felt like we fit in, but not really. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe. We fit in with band, but because there were so many people in band. Yeah. Like there was what, like 200 of us ish, you know? Yeah, yeah. So like it felt. Like, we still knew a lot of people, you know? Right, Obviously, right. we'd go into school, and there'd be, like, everyone else. Yeah, But, like, sure. <laughs> everyone you knew, like, there mm-hmm. was a lot of people to know in band, so. Yeah. Anytime yeah. you walked the halls, you saw someone, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That's we fit in, but didn't fit in. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. also the, the, just, like, yeah, even, like, the music part of being in drumline, that was, like, a big, uh, I guess, eye-opener opener for, well, I don't know how you felt, but, like, I felt like it did give me some structure in high school, having like that, like some sort of system. The only thing I hated was getting up at freaking five in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was freezing. <laughs> out warming, like we're warming up in 30 degree, 30 weather. degree weather. Yeah. Yeah, I never liked like, practicing and getting up early. Still don't. Right, right. I mean, not that I do, but I still wouldn't. If I had the chance to like do it again, I wouldn't. Obviously, right, right, right. But yeah, going to practice in the morning sucked. Yeah, because it was cold as hell, freezing your balls, <laughs> and it's just like, why am I here? Right. Yeah. You know. And then the sun doesn't come up until like an hour later. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So the way it worked in drumline is like, we were we practiced with the band but we practiced more than the band yeah so like the band didn't have to get there as early as us like 5 30 we right. had to be there at 5 30 they went like at 6 30 yes so yeah. an hour may not seem like a lot but in the morning it makes a huge difference oh yeah because we're still in the dark yeah getting to school and that too yeah before we so we go to band practice but yep. then right after we're done we got to get ready for school yes. so we're already up at five or five. even four forty-five for some people who like lived further yeah they had to get ready go to school yes do practice yes and then we finished like 30 minutes before the bell rung <laughs> yes sir yes sir right <laughs> and then we have to get ready in the bathroom yeah with everyone yeah and then go to go to our first period and you're in the first period i'm like <laughs> yeah and then you have like math or something or like geography and you're like see you're already over i think that's the the unrealist not unrealistic but like unnormal thing of of us being in band and drumline is that like i always envied people that were not in like any kind of academic or like a curriculum or sports yeah anything but like band we're the first ones on the field and we're the last ones like to leave school because what even after being up at practice at five in the morning and then we'll have rehearsal on Monday or yeah, Wednesday night. I think it was Mondays we would have practice early in the morning, yes, right? Yeah. And then we'd Wednesdays. go to school, get out of school, and then we had practice later that night. That and same that evening. was full band. At but we would have to be there again yeah. earlier because we'd have to warm up. Exactly. Drumline always has to warm up before anything, before a game, before yeah. like we're practicing. We yes. always ran through our warm up, which, you know, was right, like right. maybe like. 15 minutes maybe yeah yeah 20 minutes yeah just to do that just to start and obviously it's not always like clean every time so we'd have to restart and stuff so yeah give us like a 30 minute like (laughs) warm-up time so yeah that was and then where we went to school eastwood the football field is so far from the band room they just were like hey like let's just make the band walk a mile to get to the field that's what i hated too especially if you were in front line you remember oh that? yeah just carrying our well so you marched snare drum right snare i drum. marched snare sophomore year so freshman year i was in front line like, yeah like you were but like yeah. remember <laughs> like the front line days you'd have to wheel oh that's right take you're, all you're, the equipment you're wheeling out 
Yeah. Like literally like <laughs> felt like half a mile <laughs> yeah. from the band room to the stadium. Yeah. And I wish know. we had a map to show you guys where we would travel from just to get, we'll probably put a picture up so, yeah, so yeah. you could see. Yeah. Yeah. But that was fun. far to like have all that stuff. Yes. And you have to go back and forth, back and forth. That would take like, well, frontline, it would take like almost like 30, 40 minutes to just get set up. Yeah. Drumline, we just have, you just put your drum on and you go. Just go. go. But yeah. still it's, it's like, man, all that time and you're kind of like you're already tired you're already out of tired. breath you're, you're out of tired. breath yeah. like what the hell yeah, you go through water like crazy yes you have those oh, dude, like, I remember two that. gallon yes. jugs five gallon i don't even know i remember having to fight it. sometimes for our, our you know little uh, igloo uh, jugs of water because we, if, yeah. we were just like if you ran out like you're that's it because yeah. everyone's water like they needed it you know <laughs> obviously some people would be like yeah you can take give me some of your like, water give me some of your water get out of here man yep <laughs> But yeah. yeah, those days were yeah. That is it true. was just That's a lot true. of uh, commitment, especially at an early age. Like when you're yeah. when you're in high school, you get there and you're like 13, 14. Yeah, and to be in band, yes. out of all things, yeah. I think was like one of the most like. For yeah, sure, yeah. And it was just so. It wasn't even hard, but it was just so demanding. Yeah, physically, so demanding. physically, physically you're, you're demanding, tiring. and then just timing. Like you had to be there for school, after school, after school, and then you. We still had it during school and during school. Yeah, it's, it's you kind of almost school. have like no life really. You don't like if you think about it. Our social lives were not as um, uh, social <laughs> than everybody else's because yeah. I always felt we had to wake up, eat, drum, repeat. Wake up, Wake up, eat, eat drum. drum, repeat. Shit, drum, <laughs> shit, shit, drum. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, literally what it was. That's how it was. Every day of the week. For four years. The The thing was is like marching season was only like pretty much the first semester of school. So right. drumline, we started in July Yeah, doing practices and stuff. Oh, that's right. And then we would finish in like what, December-ish? Oh, my God. We'd go from Dece- pretty much like half a, yeah, half Dece- a year. Yeah, December. Doing the same stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the only thing was sophomore year, I failed some classes, so I didn't even get to oh, okay. to drum. Yeah, like the but, second half, but uh, whatever. No, nah, but you didn't, fuck the nah, teachers, nah, dude. Like you didn't, you didn't miss out on anything. <laughs> I know I did. Just a bunch of extra warm ups. Like so. I said, freshman year was the funnest part. I think when it came to to trips, to competitions, football games, that was one of the funnest funnest times. Do you have any like particular memories of any like stories you want to stories elaborate oh, on? We have so many <laughs> stories, but anyone that stands oh, out let me let me think real quick I <laughs> let think, me check check my files real quick <laughs> i think one of the coolest stories was well not coolest but fun funniest <laughs> i think it was uh when we were i forgot what what stadium we went to but it was a friday night game mm-hmm. and we uh we were on the way back to to eastwood from from the bus okay and uh so Uh-oh. i guess she wasn't feeling good Uh-oh. and she was gonna throw up remember do you remember that I think I do remember. And at the time she was dating. I don't think I was on that bus, but I'm I do remember sure you here. would. <laughs> They're sitting next to each other and she's yeah. like feeling sick on the oh, ride, no. right? Oh, God. So she's like trying to throw up or it's like she's going to. And this dude sticks out his hands and he's like, throw up in my hands. And I like, I'll I'm catch sitting, it. I'll I'm catch sitting, it. Yeah, I know. Like, what are you going to do? Just let it fall on the floor, you dummy. <laughs> Yeah, let me catch your throw oh, up. That and guy, then I man. like jumped up and yelled, there's no time. And everyone just started laughing on the bus. What? It wasn't even that funny. Right, right, right. But I right. think just because like the fact that this dude's going like this and she's like trying <laughs> to hurl. You. <laughs> Peace be with you. Peace be throw she up has, you. She has like demons coming out of him. <laughs> this dude puts out his hands. And I was like, that. first of all, just let it fall on the, the right. bus. You'll right. clean it later. Right. Dude stuck out his hands. And grant you, it's nighttime. So you really can't see anything. Okay, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Coming know, from a late night game or exactly, something. Exactly. Yeah. It's already like 9 p.m., so you yeah. can't see anything. That's true, yeah. And I'm just like, wow, that was so stupid. I'm looking back, I'm like, why did he do that? The dude was literally <laughs> putting his hands up for... I get it, sure. <laughs> but, nah. Come on. Let her throw up. Oh, my goodness. I don't even remember if she did. I just uh, feel like she felt sick, but... Probably, yeah. Whatever. That was one stupid That's one. Those, those, yeah, I... That sounds about right, honestly, for Ben and being in the the buses. And yeah, those weren't, man, the buses were annoying. I hated it because they were, everybody was so loud and just uh, so obnoxious. And just everyone would just clown around. Remember the heads down, everybody, heads down. Yeah. We'd have to, like, what is is this? Are we, like, transporting the president with us? Yeah, I know. We would have to put our hats on after we left. 
like a like an away game or when we got to yeah when we got to or when we left i think when we left when we left Always we'd have we to left. put our heads down leave our our what do you call it shit they're not they're like our our band i remember the fe- shape our band though? hats yeah our our hats it. I don't know what they're called. Leave the comment. <laughs> yeah, leave, leave, let us know what it's called. But whenever we left like an away stadium, we'd have to yeah. put our heads down. Shake but them. because, reason being is because like opposing teams, right? Like yeah. kids and stuff, they'd throw like shit at your bus sometimes. Yeah, I remember when my oldest sister, oh, okay. that's what happened to Stephanie. Yes, yeah. They, uh, I, oh, for, okay, I need man. to ask her what school it was, but yeah. they started throwing rocks at the bus and they broke a lot of the windows. Yikes. And she was like, what the fuck? Like, oh, okay. And Stephanie, knowing her, she's like already fucking yelling at people because oh. <laughs> she's just loud like that. But that's, I kind of, I'm, I'm yeah. guessing like where it started, you know? Like right, you right. just get into like, you yeah. get into shit with no the that's other reasonable and it's yeah. kids you know like yeah. they don't fucking care like, right yeah it's true just doing shit but that's insane that. yeah i do i kind of yeah i do remember hearing stories about that mm-hmm. and then the whole uh what is it the getting contest that's the one i remember coming back on the bus oh we, yeah we came back from like i don't know it was a uh tob or it was tournament a tournament tournament of bands yeah, yeah, in yeah new mexico or something and mm-hmm. it was like it's a, like the like the biggest like competition that you can be in for for high school like yeah. tournament of bands it's all the schools in like that I guess some certain region mm-hmm. and then you compete you do your all your, like your show and yeah everything's already finished and then yeah whatever happens happens and you get placed like ranking like first through tenth and then mm-hmm. I think it's just one through ten right something like yeah like the first top ten but that also like yeah they do like top three and then first place second well, something top 10 i don't even know i don't even but i remember like the well, they range. Do top 10 but i think it's top three top three though it's, that's in the top 10 <laughs> no top three <laughs> i think if you get like top three or something don't you go to uh yeah i think you compete out of state i think no. something like or that. or you go to state you go i remember something like where if you would get i know top if you place three, really or, high you yeah. go like to another one yes i don't Somewhere, know what it is but i i heard it's like in dallas that, that i yeah, remember yeah. like you play for the dallas Stadium, the Cowboys. I yeah, yeah, nah, I remember. We, I'm just Sunday. joking. I, I was like, nah, no, that we sounds played for right. the Cowboys guys. We're there on Sunday night. Go to QB. We're, yeah. we're with Dak Prescott. We're throwing touchdowns. Dude. That okay? Like, see, now that you brought that up, that was the fun. Like in that moment, being on the field, mm. Friday night games, yeah, playing was, cadences, yeah, with everybody, just joking around, messing around, getting yeah. in trouble. <laughs> with yeah, the, you're basically seeing the game for free. Yeah, and then you get like free water yeah, free well, food, snacks food. food yeah so you're just okay that's the chill part they used to always bring us a uh, chick-fil-a or taco but smell like bevels and yeah. taco meat in the hallway just, yeah <laughs> obviously a lot of people would know like if you're in any sport or any like yeah. extracurricular where there's a lot of people right and then you know you're all sweaty and it gets hot right uh, and then it just smells like feet yeah it smells like straight ass and you're just <laughs> going through the hallway like and then you could smell like certain people who are like <laughs> obviously like in <laughs> your opinion, obviously in like high school like a lot of people like go through puberty oh, and stuff so that has a lot to do especially yeah, well, with guys you yeah, know like honestly yeah, kids start to steam you're all right just yeah. like damn like yeah you got to put extra deodorant yes like, you got to put it on before you go out and then when you come back because you you those yeah. are some yeah like changing times for i guess us teenagers growing up yeah because it's true it's like that that's also a play into like how we yeah we had to we had to share locker, uh, basically in 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 band. Like you're sharing, not a locker, but I'm saying you're sharing the whole band room with everybody. Yeah. You're changing. You're yeah. You're like putting on deodorant. Like I mean, just, I didn't share a locker in band. No, not, not a locker. Band. No, I didn't. A lot share of people would because everyone was closed and they were like, "Oh, let's share." Let's not nah, fuck that. I'm getting my own locker, <laughs> bitch. <ass." laughs> yeah like who shares lockers i think there was idiots. a few couples that probably shared i do remember that putting stuff in my locker yeah i remember that <laughs> oh yeah i remember that was another fun thing so we had this friend his name is israel i'm just throwing his name out there because whatever because i love you israel but i'm was, pretty sure you already knew but yeah you had a locker and we would just i personally i'm even gonna say i just shove shit in your locker sometimes <laughs> just to get like just to get you like frustrated man i do that on purpose i don't know why i did it but Jeez. it was funny to me what a it guy it still is to be honest <laughs> but we would just shove shit in his locker and then he'd get there and we'd wait for him to see yeah. him and he'd be like who keeps putting shit in my locker <laughs> every single time and i'd be like oh man put in like lace i'd chips be cleaning and- my drum like Ah, oh, I don't know, dude. I don't see anyone. 
That sucks, dude. Yeah. But I didn't see anybody. <laughs> you see anybody? <laughs> <laughs> it's because I, I was able to do that because I had I had piano right before. Oh yeah, yeah, Mr. Roman. So I'd ask I'd ask Mr. Roman. I'll be like, "Can I get an early start? Like going to like clean my drum because we had to get ready for Friday, like, Friday night, Friday games, night yeah. games." So mm-hmm. he'd be like, "Yeah, go ahead." Mm-hmm. You know, not a problem. Right. So I'd start cleaning my drum, but then I'd find a bunch of shit and I'd just shove it in his locker. <laughs> so anytime he'd come, he'd be like, what the fuck? Like, he'd get mad. Oh, my God. It was me, Israel, but what are you going to do now? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know? Give him a call. What are you going to do now? Call him up. <laughs> I have a question for you, though. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people in band, they like to see separate sides. So it's always like band and drumline. Right. Like drumline's not a part of the band or band... Or you're in band, but you're also in drumline. Like, yeah, yeah. Like if someone asked me, like, oh, okay, oh okay. you're in band, I'd be like, no, I'm in drumline. But that's okay. just because how I saw it. Yeah. So let me have a question for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So were you in band or were you in drumline? No, I always say I'm in drumline. <laughs> yeah. I exactly. was, the, I, like I always say, yeah, I was on the drum and I'm, I was in a line. I was on the line. <laughs> he was the drum, guys. We were the line. <laughs> we were the line. Yeah. Um, you, you ask any like person in drumline that question yeah. they're gonna say i was in drumline yeah not in band right right it's weird yeah that that is true yeah from you know the from our because we were on the actual percussion and drumline and i think yeah like <laughs> if you were in band then you say no i'm in band i'm in band but if you're in drumline it's different it's different yeah and people would always argue with me with that they'd yeah. be like no you're in band too and i'll be like nah, i'm in drumline dude <laughs> i'm on the drumline dude <laughs> You're in with the the drum line with me. <laughs> right? I guess it's like one of those controversial things. Like you just, it just depends who you ask. But I mean, obviously yeah. we're both in drum line, so we're going to have pretty much the same answers. But I just wanted to see what you would say. No, no, no. That's, if you're in drum that's, line or if you're in band. That's, I felt like, yeah, that's pretty accurate because yeah. I, I always referred to that question when someone would ask. I'd be like, no, I'm in drum line. It's just, yeah, same. And then right away, yeah, I'd get that uh, response or reaction. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So you, so you would like, you get on the field and like, you you put a like a drum on? You're, you're on the drums? Yeah. It's like yeah. 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 Dumbass. Fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm here at some five in the morning, piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Should be at home eating menudo right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh it's like the um, old days. That, yeah. yeah. Those were those are really fun times, uh, I think. And then especially yeah, even like with the uh, biggest thing is that because my dad was our teacher. Yeah, that was funny too. That was always a tough one for me because I was the, yeah, like we said, the, I'm the student. uh, What is it? The, yeah, you definitely had it. Teacher. I think people outside would be like, you didn't have it rough right because they're like well oh it's their parent they'll take it easy on you right but in your case dude you stress so much because of that like you felt like your expectations were so high because your dad was the instructor he was the he was the and for for those that don't he was the percussion director he was in charge of us the drum line and he had pretty much anything that he say goes and then on top of that drum uh, head uh percussion director and then our actual band director which was mr andrade Mm -hmm. so like yeah he had a lot on his plate and then yeah just being the the teacher's son like it just was constant there was constant like like everyone would be like oh like adrian has to be like as good or or better than everyone yeah so he had that going for him and like when i hated him like he's definitely not like that at all this dude's goofy like he had he had fun with it yeah you know he didn't take it too too serious like some people would but because you would expect to an extent yeah. you, would ex- you would expect being the son yeah like oh like he he does all region he does all this and it's just like uh, what is it division two <laughs> you know <laughs> and then everybody yeah exactly i remember that oh man, i can't reach that's the... <laughs> another that's another good story oh yeah that's right the division two story right yeah that was the one coming back from nmsu and Mm-hmm. It was like what the thirty year, thirty years straight. We we would we got ones and then I the was in, year I wasn't in. It was Erica's year, right? It was she was she was in band. I think it was her junior year. Okay, okay. It yeah, might yeah. have been your. I was a soft. No, sorry, freshman, freshman year. Freshman year. Your freshman yes. year. Yeah, because I went with Art. <laughs> I went with Art to go see it. Me and my family went. Art and then I think your mom was there too. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that was funny. So <laughs> when <laughs> bands get like ranked or like they get scored in these tournaments yeah they it's either like division one two three four mm-hmm. whatever yeah the number one would be the best right two it's like eh, three Not is so like much, you sucked right. four is like fuck you so <laughs> so pretty much eastwood we had a like long well i wasn't there yet but 
my two older sisters went to Eastwood and then I had one currently there. So we went to go yeah. support her and everything. And uh, when they were announcing it, <laughs> Eastwood had like a like a 20, 30 year streak of getting Division Ones, right. which is really good, right? Yeah. Because they'd give you banners for that and they were hung all in the band room. Right. And this year, for some reason, don't know what happened. Obviously, I'm not there. Um, you probably know more. I was but a like, freshman coming back from the bus. But like... Uh, and it was like they announced everything. it on the, on yep. the PA, and they're like, mm-hmm. uh, Eastwood High School Division, and there's this such long pause. It's like and a then everyone's second. like, and then they just hear two echoes, yep. and it just got quiet. Like, people clap, right? Yeah. But, like, it's not like a Division One, so... But- Again, it didn't matter to me. Obviously, I felt for, like, my sister because, like, you know, they want to do good. Right. <laughs> but going back to the band room to pick her up, yeah. I got off with Art, and we're in the band room, dude, and it's just silent. Yeah. All you hear yeah. is footsteps and, like, the instruments being put away. Yes. You heard nothing. On the bus, yeah, because I was on the bus. I was yeah, a freshman yeah. in the front line, and, yeah, and all I remember is, <laughs> you just hear everybody... <laughs> Like, that's all you hear and i'm like you're not gonna be here next year like who gives a shit I could give two shits dude you play clarinet dude like, get like the you're gonna be here. like probably in retail right now like just get out of here <laughs> get out who cares yeah who I, cares? I remember the, it was just silent like in the band room you just heard like instruments being put away and then sniffles and tears yeah. from like some of the band the, students. I'm yeah. pretty sure it was more like the upperclassmen <clears throat> because like you yeah. know they wanted to end on a good note and they didn't. Right, right. And yeah, that was it was funny to yeah. me because obviously it doesn't matter. Right, right. But like everybody else was like <laughs> in everyone tears. else was like it was so dramatic for them. Yeah. And like, hey, maybe it was I, yeah. I wasn't that invested. Even when I no. was in drum yeah, like, like I didn't Yeah. I, I knew I was good. I knew right. we were good. Right, right, right. Like whatever fucking happens, like I didn't, I didn't care. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. I knew that we did good. We tried our best. Whatever. Same. But, yeah, yeah. You know. I, yeah, we take it serious, but I didn't take it too serious. And I think that was the the key with me and with everybody. Like, I liked doing all the competitions and all that stuff. But yeah, at the end of the day, like I didn't want to take it like so so serious. And mm-hmm. some of our uh, lead stick guys were pretty they, intense they kind of called lead bitch dude like all that and like okay let's take another lap someone ticked like <sighs> i need you to i need you like dude i'm down. going to you. physics right now yeah at, like, at a third period i have like, a test chill. like coming up right now like do you think i care about that sticks like i do care but like come on dude like this isn't the end of the world right now yeah like that was the other thing some people took it way too serious which yeah Again, I'm pretty that's sure. The drama. I'm pretty sure, like a lot of them, like took it serious because that's something they wanted to pursue at the yes, time. Yes, yes, at the time. Yeah, but none. And of- I was just too goofy, and I was like, "No, nah, this like, I'm here to have fun." Yeah, yeah, I already knew. I I already knew what I needed to do, and I did it. Yeah, like I don't need this extra bullshit. Exactly. I don't yeah. need that extra. Shit. I think that's what high school's for. You're supposed to have fun. You're supposed to have those memories because we only we only go to high school one time, mm-hmm. and then it's over. And yeah. then that's why, it, yeah, like when people ask, like, you know, how long has it been since you graduated? So and so, it's been this, this. But sometimes, yeah, you're right. It feels like it. We just graduated like last year or whatever. But, but it's because of those feelings of like having that freedom mm-hmm. of yeah. just like those problems, we those those worries those that stupid things, dumb things that we do. As some high of the biggest students. dramas, obviously, in high school relationships, like that was one of the <laughs> biggest thing. This guy uh, knows. I'm not even gonna put him on know, the spot. No, but I he don't knows. Know. <laughs> no, just, I mean, there was, there was, there was, yeah, there was a lot of, you know, certain things that in high school, like you look back at and you, like you learn from it, but it like, yeah, once again, it's, it's that drama. That's, that's what messed it up for me. And mm-hmm. yeah, like break, I remember, yeah, my first breakup was in, 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 uh, yeah, like in, I think I was a sophomore in high school and yeah, it was someone in band and yeah, like she, she broke up with me and, uh, right before I think it was like lunch and my stomach was turning and it, it tore me apart and it was like the worst feelings I think ever. what's even worse when is you're that a high school you're student. both, yeah. you were both in, yeah, in band, like in band, yeah. drumline and in mm-hmm. band. So like, yeah, it, it does. It is hard because Ooh. you have to see that person. You have yeah. to see them, and then like when you, when you're like there warming up, like you're, and you're looking with the corner of your eye, and you're like, oh crap, this one's looking at me. Damn it! I, 
keep a straight face here. You can just just play that, play the drum like. Okay, get off the field. Just act cool. Act cool. Yeah, act cool. Just, don't just trip. Don't don't look. Don't look. Don't be stupid. I mean, I know they're probably looking, but don't look. No. Because <laughs> then it's gonna make it harder. Because I, I always felt like that was a very emotional. There's a lot of things I think growing up when you're a teenager, like you feel like, yeah, like it's the end of the world, and like you feel you 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 get so invested. I think in really, I was more invested in yeah, like you said, what like relationships. I wasn't so much invested friendships. in yeah, friendships. Even friendships. Yeah, yeah. Just being friends with someone. Yes. Like. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have a lot of friends though. I really yeah. didn't in band. It was just you, Art, well, Art, my brother, and then maybe Pressy and like a few. Well, the drumline cats, I would say, were like my friends. But like I personally didn't have like outside friends that I actually went to their house and hung out with them. That mm -hmm. never happened. Maybe just besides you and besides me, yeah. You know, maybe, maybe one or two other people. But like I never hung out with anybody outside yeah. of band. Like I never, it never happened. Like I yeah. never did, you know, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. that was always a uh, uh, yeah weird weird times yeah again as a high school student you know because yeah. you're 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 going through puberty you're going through these changes in your body <laughs> you're just like constantly fighting yourself and your emotions and your mental state like you're always yeah. having to fight these little mental battles with yourself you know yeah and i think that's uh that's true that's always a, a, a just a tangle all the time with mm -hmm. yourself you know what was your favorite year in high school my favorite year was probably my junior year. Why? My junior year was, yeah, I would say my, I felt like I I enjoyed it more. Yeah. First freshman year, I was really scared, very timid. I didn't want to do anything, and I was just very shy, and yeah, like I just kind of kept to myself. And then sophomore year, I was like, okay, I think I got the hang of it, but I couldn't stand the people. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, junior year, I think was my, my favorite year, even like being like our show. Uh, and then I felt like I did a little bit more. And then I think it wasn't until my senior year I did like a, I was in that back to the 80s play. And like, I, I felt like I did a little bit more. Like I yeah. was actually happy with the way I ended it. But junior year was like my favorite year. Favorite? Senior year, I was literally like, yeah, we're always like, I don't, I am not going to see you for the rest of my life. Like, who cares? Like, I don't care what happens. Like, yeah. I really don't care where you are. I, I don't, you, you didn't even, you shouldn't even care where I'm at right now. Like, yeah, like it's, it's no one's business, but it's like at the same time. Yeah. Like you have those, those people that were, it was their life and it was their, like mm -hmm. their, uh, I That's guess, all they you knew. know what I mean? Yeah. That's like Edward flipping <laughs> the keys. That guy's still there. Flipping keys. <laughs> he's probably right there right now. What time is it? <laughs> yep. He's there. Uh, that's that's where I yeah I had to like just sit back and just like I just wanted to have fun but yeah it was hard difficult was <clears throat> with my dad because he was he was my teacher so he was always getting on top of me on like he was always getting at me <laughs> about yeah. that stuff. Since we were in drumline, what are your like favorite kind of like phrases that we would say? Like because there was a oh, lot man. of like lingo that we had when it's like dirt. Like dirt. that was one of my favorite. Even to say now, so like, like dirt meaning like if you're playing like if you we were playing in a line together and you're you're playing like a lick like a okay play it again and someone played it again and it went okay and that that means we would just that's, say that's dirt dirt that's that dirt. sounds like dirt so yeah anytime we'd like sound bad we'd be like oh just dirt. <laughs> just dirt anytime someone would enter the bathroom <laughs> oh yeah dude anytime uh. someone <laughs> and they'd then enter the freshman oh, <laughs> freshman uh we, that yeah, was funny i think we did make it we started that no link like a like we, we had no uh, yeah the drumline just had a lingo to yeah. it like that was that's another one uh anytime yep. they would come through the door dude. yes yeah. like it, it didn't matter who it was yeah it could be a teacher <laughs> it could have been his dad we would just been like uh and then, they just look like huh? my favorite is when i would i would try to troll the seniors and mm. i'd be like oh jeans today oh Jeez. yeah like anything even if whatever they were wearing they you know were, what i mean we just clown we would them. just yeah i don't think i ever did that because my fashion was not that good in high school i don't think anyone's is I mean, up yeah. to a certain point but like freshman year dude i i dressed like a freaking like oh uh, what was your what was your clothes like <laughs> like what would you dress i don't even it's horrible dude huh? shorts hoodie oh, okay. jack like but the colors would be like red blue Opposite. white black oh, okay all yeah. in one like no. yeah yeah and then Sophomore year, I started matching, but way too much. Mm, okay. So it'd be like blue, khaki, blue. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, uh. And then junior year, it was the same, but 
right. more like neutral colors. So it'd be like gray, black, gray, <laughs> or okay. white, black. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then senior year, it was just more of like simple. Like oh, okay, okay. white khaki shorts, white shoes. Mm. You know, freshman year, I I remember it was you very still colorful. Like that. <laughs> yeah, colorful, colorful colors. Colorful, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would wear the checkered checkered uh, shirts back in the day. Checkered. Shirts, yeah, I remember really? freshman year. Yeah. Well, it's because I didn't go to school with you freshman year. Yeah, yeah. we were we were the grade below. Yeah, you. I had but, my long hair, checkered shirts, and then the the tight jeans was the the look I guess I was going for. Jeans, but then it wasn't yeah. until my sophomore year. That's when I started just t-shirt and jeans. That that was my whole V-neck, dude. You are V-neck, no? V-neck, yeah. I mean, back, was that you or Art? back when I had a V-neck? <laughs> <laughs> back when no, I, I was just a V-neck, dude. Just got an extra neck. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like just that whole. It's like that whole. Uh, what is it? Neck. That that bit we talked about. Oh, the yeah. back at my prime. Back at my prime. I used Can, to be in shape. <laughs> now I'm just in shape. Or back at my prime, I used to. Do 100 sit-ups. No, I can barely sit no, up. I can barely sit up. <laughs> no, my favorite was the one I did because of your oh, laugh at the end. Back in my prime, I used to watch the hub. Now I'm on the hub. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my your God. Your laugh man. at the end of that bit was Yes, funny. dude, I lost it. I lost yeah, it. That was yeah, funny. that was the other thing, yeah, in high school was the, the Instagram doing those 15-second those bits of... Yeah. That was like the trend of... Because it was like Vine, up. and yeah. then Instagram mm-hmm. came out shortly. But you would be able to post uh, clips. like videos, but they were max fifteen seconds long. Yeah. So you had to like, if you wanted to be funny, man, you had fifteen seconds to show everything <laughs> that you wanted to do. Yes. And we would. Yeah. I'd go over to this guy's house, and we'd spend like three hours <laughs> doing a fifteen-second video. Yeah. And on Instagram, when you record it, you have to record, stop, stop and, and then record again. And stop. Right. Yeah. yeah. So like, picture us taking hours trying to get 15 seconds and do everything and we right. did like one take a hundred times one of the episodes that we do here uh-huh. we should show like the yeah, different yeah. ones because i think we still have some up on youtube yeah don't was... look them up guys we'll show you <laughs> they're cringy but that's how, definitely that, that was the trend back then uh when we were in high school it was it was the 15 second and then it got from 15 seconds to 30 seconds and then we were like oh man we could tell a whole story with 30 yep. seconds yep. And, then and then a minute, minute. Yep. a minute so like we have it was cool to, to like <laughs> the evolution of that from 15 seconds to a minute. But picture doing a minute. Yeah. Like if we could barely do 15 seconds, it'd take us a day to do a minute. It was so long. Uh, that I'm was just, fun though. I'm just going to real quick change the subject again here back to yeah, some yeah. of the stories of Drumline. One of my two favorite stories. That, well, one of them was the Matthew. It's one of our oh, funny gosh. friends. That we graduated Matthew Maletto. I'll name drop you, dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He was funny because uh, he was so like in percussion. You're supposed to like do everything was, with your hands. Yeah. Like, this was, I yeah. think, middle school for us. Okay. Yes. Middle yeah, school. High school for us. Yeah. I thought, yeah, middle school. Thought, middle school. <laughs> I thought it was high school. Yeah. I remember we had a performance to do and we actually, this was on a live performance and percussionist back there, when you're doing the percussion toys and everything, you got to be very like big and animated. Like when you do a triangle, you have to bring it up and bass drum, roll, blah, blah, blah. And I remember right. my dad, he's like, okay, guys, you guys got to shake the shaker like this whatever you know go like this yeah like that guy like i felt so bad but he got it wrong and he went like this <laughs> what <laughs> i don't remember that dude he did he did no. yeah <laughs> my dad from the back i see him like this <laughs> He went like this. <laughs> he was supposed to go like this. I don't remember that. I don't. And he just went after the show. Matthew, you know, I told you to use two hands and go forward, not back and forth. I don't remember oh, that. Man. I remember he would do it like this, but he like his whole body would move. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that gets to your death. Oh man! Yeah, those are. There's some oh lot gosh. of stories like that. And then uh, one of my other favorite stories oh, was uh, that's funny. when we were all in the drum. Uh, sorry, <laughs> drum line. We were all in the line. We were uh, doing like a like a jam out session, and my dad had us like do solos. What was my dad? He was a. Oh yeah, we were doing a we were doing a groove, right? We yeah. just had this like beat going, and then uh, your dad would single someone out to do a solo, and everyone else would like quiet down. Yeah. So he was going down, just picking people randomly. He picked me, and I did a pretty good. Like I was like, 
yeah, like yeah. whatever it was something, like right, right. something cool something saucy <laughs> like, I, like i could i couldn't groove like you but i could groove to like a beat and i could just like no nah, you follow that you got hands that's another quote you'll you, you, hands. you got hands no hands or no, no hands, hands. Yeah. yeah no hands means you weren't good like yeah. you couldn't hack like what we were trying to do yeah which everyone else couldn't and if you but did you got hands <laughs> you got hands exactly so mm-hmm. he's going down the line and obviously like we'd all be clowning each other because like we knew who couldn't yeah. and who could yeah so yeah. when your dad got to him dad points him out and he starts grooving but like he doesn't even he started doing something and then he just stopped because he started laughing <laughs> because he knew he couldn't do it <laughs> And we're just laughing at him because, oh. like, he just couldn't. And then he's laughing. And we're laughing because of how he Because he looks started bra- breaking down because he can't, him. like, do it. So that We was... all lost it. I remember that day. Oh, and I just remembered. But I was about to say, the other one, too, was the 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 visual, the $5 foot long. Oh, yeah. The one where, or the other one, the that. fish. <laughs> we did this. We went oh, $5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we, we go. like, a $5 foot long or something like that. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was like a visual... When, like, we wouldn't have, like, when we'd have measures of rest, yeah, right? we'd be marching and stuff, and we'd have to, like, do visuals, so we were, do like, like $5 for long. like that or something, or something right? Yeah, yeah. All those that weird, was stupid. Weird little uh Dude, that one I things. hated. What was that? Like a, I don't know what it's called. I don't even know what it's, <laughs> like a disco, you know? <laughs> that was the dumbest thing. <laughs> what did I say? I remember what everybody's I say? position was, like, totally on <laughs> <laughs> what did i say the other day i was like yeah let's have a lean right here oh that's that. right oh man this that's, goes back to uh, having a band director who was very traditional who really didn't do like out of the box things the reason yeah. why i feel like we were held back i guess you could say was because we didn't take risks yeah um, the risks for our high school was like yeah let me do a lean here <laughs> that was like yeah let yeah, me, let me fucking- do a 45 lean and that was it. <laughs> yeah, let me just yeah. lean in for like who? Like no one cared. Yeah, like, yeah. That was stupid. Yeah, it, yeah. Like let me lean right here. Exactly. Like how many leans can we do? And it's like that's it. You know, yeah. we had no props. We never had props hardly in our band because yeah, I mean our our band. Like I wonder was, how we were so good. We must have sounded fucking amazing. I mean, like as far as yeah, like music, like the like the actual musical players playing it. Yeah, we sounded great. I think musically we were decent. We were pretty mm-hmm. good. Like everyone had like their. But I I just felt bad because we never had like yeah props. When it came to the show, when we never did a big Fridays yeah. For, we never did anything. Big. It wasn't like anything. It was mm-hmm. just like yeah, a, a good lean right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's yeah. great. Yeah, that Fuck yeah. Out of here with that. That was always a. A constant like on always on repeat we were always doing those those visuals and yeah that was very uh it kind of got redundant very quickly it just so repetitive um yep but uh <laughs> i think most of all those memories yeah like they they stay with me forever but yeah like if, if i could go back and do it all over again would i i don't know i probably like being out in the sun that was the uh, i hated that hated being out sun and hundred Young children outside, yeah. 110 little, degrees. Well, teenagers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on. Like, <clears throat> the only way I would go back, and I wouldn't, but the only way, <laughs> hypothetically, would like be... Like, the only good thing is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically saying nothing right now. But if I could go back, it wouldn't go back to the time. It would... Well, yes, it would go back to the time, but I wish I had the mindset and the brain I have now right right. traveled with me too right like i wouldn't go back forget everything i've learned up until this point yeah i'd only go back if i knew what i knew now yeah or then then. yeah right wait i'd only go back (laughs) i'd only go back if i knew what i knew then Then, yeah then what i did now now. right (laughs) z105 (laughs) back at you you guys know what i mean don't be stupid (laughs) yeah 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 for sure yeah i think that yeah all that knowledge it, it does come into play like yeah because because w- once again we're we're like uh well back then i mean for me yeah it's like almost like 10 11 years ago now yeah since graduating high school and yeah like the knowledge old ass. yeah you just b- b- we're so naive yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. said old yeah ass. yeah yeah <laughs> gray hair guy yeah. uh, but yeah you just feel like once again yeah we feel so we feel overconfident in high school i feel uh naive you feel so much mixture of emotions because of that yeah because you're in high school like you want to you want to rule the world but you you want to also have fun and then yet you don't want to do anything stupid Mm -hmm. but 
at the same time, you want to do all those things. You don't, want, I, you don't want to be cringy. Yeah, yeah. And I, that's why that's why it was very difficult, like, just, just being in high school. Because it's like, yeah, you do deal with a lot of trauma and people. and Yeah, and it, it's, like, so unnecessary. You know? Yes. But <clears throat> it's high school, so it's there. Yeah. No matter what. You got to, you still fight. You have no to matter just, what it is. you have to put on a face. You're always there. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, in uh <laughs> I guess in, in conclusion of all this, I mean, we've we've learned like now from being in high school and, and now like just now already grown grown adults now, I think our problems are a lot more different. Way different. Way different. I wish I had yeah. those problems the way I did back yeah. then in high I school. I forgot my sticks at home. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I forgot to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Let me go drive home and get them. You know what I mean? It's like all easy, easy. Oh, I stuff. forgot to I forgot to eat dinner. Man, I'm lucky if I even eat. Every <laughs> <laughs> time I look in the fridge, a couple of weenies, and tomato a, sauce, black bananas. <laughs> oh, that's right. There's so many times. Yeah, when we would you you'd go out like with your friends. Yeah, like after the games. Remember after after a hard you know long that day, too, we would, we'd always hang like, out. That after. was like. So that's what I'm saying. We think that was the cool part to go eat because we are hungry and then we're all together and we just have fun. That's, that's where, yes, like to relive those memories, that was the fun part for me. Mm -hmm. But it's that we're literally on Friday, we are literally Mm -hmm. at five in the morning and we are literally up all day till like 12 in the morning. If you really think about the hours we've spent on and off the field, we have no There was no time to rest. There's no time to rest. There's no time to rest. You can't like all in one day and then. Luckily, Fridays, we <clears throat> didn't go to school Saturday, so we right. got to sleep in. But we'd sleep in till like, 12, 1, 2. So, yeah, so, sometimes. Like, <laughs> no, so, gosh. Sometimes, yeah. I, would. I think latest for me was, like, maybe 2 p.m. to sleep in. Oh, but, man. again, we, our bodies physically yeah. were exhausted. Yeah, yeah, because it's a lot. It puts like, a, a toll on your, your body. One, we had to wake up. Yeah. Literally, that's a job in itself. <laughs> we had to be at school at 5.30 in the morning, pitch black. Yeah, do yeah. our warm ups, do all that stuff, mm-hmm. and then practice with a full band. Yeah. And then end it, get ready for school. Yes. And then go to school, do classes, do tests, learn. Eight hours a day, right? Pretty much the whole school day. And then even during school, we would have our uh, band period. Yes. Which we still have to do that. Yeah. Finish school. For <clears throat> us, we already had to get started because we had so much stuff to do. Yeah, we'd have to get our uniforms, clean our drums, make sure our sticks oh. are fine, tape our sticks. Like not not just including our uh, not to also forget our homework. We yeah, had homework, homework yeah. classwork on top of that, and then ban homework. Yeah, it's a lot. Like our our show to learn. Like it was so much. That's a lot. So yeah, we'd get done with school, <clears throat> eat something. Yeah, and then Pretty do much. our do our prep for the drum line and everything, and then go to the track. Mm-hmm. And then warm up, <laughs> yep. right? Yeah. And then get ready to walk the track. Yeah. Because we would. Oh yeah, that's the, right. The band we'd like be in the drum line, be in the front. We'd do our oh, little no, march. That's right. Mm-hmm. And we do 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 do. Well, how did it go? I don't even remember. Oh man, I don't even. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. We do that literally all the way around the track until we got to the other side where the bleachers were, and then we'd stop. Yeah. And then we. would have a little break, do the anthem, do some National, cadences. Yes, yes. Halftime, do the show, go back, do some more cadences. Yep. Third quarter, then we'd go back. Play cadences. And yeah. then after the game, go cadences play cadences again. again. And then after we're done, go to the band room, unpack, unpack everything. everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, change, do change. all that. And then. It's already, know. at what time is it? We're <laughs> like on a normal day for a band student. We're finishing on a I Friday think night finishing game. Finishing the game, it's probably like around nine thirty to ten, almost ten to finish. Almost ten, right? And then by the time we're like putting stuff away, it's, like it's probably like ten thirty. Yes. And then everyone's figuring out, well, where we're we gonna eat. Edward <laughs> want to go to freaking like Olive Garden. <laughs> like, dude, we're high school. We don't have, to, we don't have thirty bucks. Uh, Twenty grand of my. Like pocket. I was like. Cattleman's, dude. Like, <laughs> dude. First of all, it's closed. It's not even open. Oh man. We don't even have money. We yeah, barely. Yeah. We had maybe like ten bucks. No, nah, every 10, high, 15 bucks to like go eat. I mean, maybe. every high school student. All high school students are broke. We're all broke. We exactly. don't have. No we don't money. have jobs. We're, I mean, yeah. some people did, but like yeah. that was like one in like freaking fifty. Yeah, yeah. One like, in a hundred that some, actually worked. But mm-hmm. 
We'd go eat. Usually, we'd go to like Waterburger, yeah, yeah. Peters, Peters, uh, or CC's. That, or that CC's, was the, yeah. We overdid maybe not it. after though. No, not after. Not, not after. there. You know, we would go during For, lunch. During lunch, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> um, what else? We'd go. Yeah, pretty much pretty like much fast home. food. Chili's. Places. We'd go Chili's. to Chili's. Chili's a lot. was fun to go to. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel bad for the waiters just because there were so many of us. And There's like, like obviously 30, to keep yeah. like kids, you know, in yes. line. Yes. Yeah, that's probably a nightmare. But that was always a yeah thirty. Probably, yeah, that was fun. And then by the time we're done eating, all having a good time, it's like probably like midnight. It's already almost one in the morning. Yeah, midnight to twelve thirty, and then by the time everyone gets home and stuff, it's like probably one. And then by the time you go to sleep, it's probably like two, mm-hmm. and then you sleep in Saturday. Man. Just yeah, that that was like that for, for and yeah, for like four a, years, and then you think of how much time, how many hours you're spending, like you. That's why I'm saying like, I always envied the people that weren't in those ac- like academics or, or sports because I'm like, man, you get to go home and just like chill after this. Yeah, and, and he's like, like, yeah, and, I'm like, and if they want to go to like the games or stuff, that's all yeah. they have to do. They just and have to go watch, and that's it. That see, okay, like if I could redo that social part of being in high school, maybe that's what I would feel like. Mm. I felt like I missed. Like there's things like, like I wish I had maybe I'd done theater. Like I kind of wish I had done that. Maybe. Theater kids were fucking weird. Well, yeah, yeah, no, they are weird. Yeah, <laughs> but like those are the little things in a like, good way. Yeah, like some some things like I, I regret not doing. <laughs> I, I regret not doing in a good way. <laughs> I was in theater, but I'm just saying. Yeah. But like certain things, like, yeah, like I had regrets. Like maybe I should have, you know, oh, yeah, like I, I got out of gymnastics because my dad told oh, me, yeah. he said, no, you're going to be in that. You could have been an Olympian. And I wanted to be in gymnastics, God you know, and I, I couldn't, I didn't get to experience those. Like, I'm sure you wanted to be I a basketball, to do basketball player, basketball. right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, those are the things that I wish I could go back, like, if I had the chance to, to go re experience and just be like a normal high school student. But I don't know, even an athlete, it's still physically demanding. But yeah, even in sports, like, you're still doing a lot of stuff but yeah. i feel like but in band you're just you're a team i don't know it well so is it <laughs> it doesn't make sense but it's like in i feel like in an ath like an uh, athletic way uh physical way i feel like you're it's more like mind over matter like you're just it's mind over body but then in drumline and all that it was more of like yeah your mind over matter but more of like your music is controlling your mind like you have to constantly think about you have to music. be very coordinated yes physically One, we yeah. had to march on beat or yeah. like on on tempo yes and then there you on go. top that's, of that that's what we I was had to, to play you know our show yeah what we were trying to do which you know it's not always easy yeah like as far as playing wise yeah yeah like you had to have hands a lot yes. of us didn't not me i couldn't be me <laughs> couldn't be you either you know who you are yeah yeah <laughs> The uh, <laughs> uh, well, no, it actually is proven that most people who have done like yeah, like band and like drumline and 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 being in music actually does help your uh, like it helps your uh, your brain. It's more of, it stimulates your brain more because your 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 brain yeah. is like on like you're getting so much information, you're retaining so much uh, info from musically. You're constantly retaining information all day, and then on top of that, you're physically having to, like you said, yeah, mm. mark time to it and you mark know, time put, play put it put it to a metronome, and then you kind of have to be a machine. Yeah. You have to. That's that's the thing. That was the serious part. I think like, dude, how did we do that? Like we marched. We had to use our peripherals. We had to play the crab walk, like, right? Yeah. right all that back to the drumline lingo yeah yeah hands uh. <laughs> that was funny uh fresh pretty hand. much yeah dirt dirt just dirt no hands even, fresh th- even when we play good it was just funny to say dirt because yeah. then people would be like what like who's like oh my, one of my favorites do you know it write it you, you should you write know? it you should write it you should write it it's funny because like i feel like when you're Mm-hmm. When you're deep, when you're good, yeah, no one tells you that, right, right, no right. No one told me that. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No one told me that. They knew better. <laughs> Maybe when I was a sophomore, because I was still learning, but mm-hmm. I wasn't bad. Yeah, I was. I was good. My my instructors, they would well before. I mean, I was never lead stick. That's the thing. Like, I was <laughs> never a lead stick, even nah, though like you're just lead bitch. I was. Just yeah, kidding. I was already Horrible. like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't want to be lead stick because I knew the responsibility of it. And I was like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to be a part of that. So yeah. Lead stick is basically like one person is in charge of everybody in charge of everyone. So yeah. like they count off like the, the warm ups, they count off like what we're practicing, like what cadences we go to we're them. playing. Yeah. We all that junk. Yeah. And I remember, da, yeah. Da, mm-hmm. da, 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 
Yep. Yep. <laughs> that was my favorite. Do you know it? Don't play it. Do you know it? Nah. Yeah. If you don't know it, don't play it. I remember that. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you know me? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> those are those are fun memories, and yeah, it was a it was a really uh, just mixture of emotions. I think yeah, mm-hmm. being in high school. Fun times, definitely yeah. wouldn't do it again, hands <laughs> no, down. No, no. <laughs> if anything, I'd go like watch myself do it again. I feel like that'd be funny <clears throat> to watch yourself just go through it again. Right. Just, just to like see the... like how far you've come, like what kind of person you were then, to what kind of person true. you are now. <laughs> true. Because I feel like I'm pretty much the same, but I'm not as like I'm not as shy. I'm not as dorky. I'm I not, think yeah, obviously I was, you grow up, but like yeah. it's just cool to see. Like it'd be cool to see that evolution again. The younger, yourself. younger self. Yeah. yeah. For sure, yeah. Right. Awesome, awesome. Well, I think we will uh, end it with that, right? It's pretty, it. pretty. We've covered pretty much the introduction of our band geek days. That was days basically and, like the drumline life, the yeah. the years of high school through it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, there's so many stories, but yeah, within itself, there would there would be another concept. Yeah, we'd of, have to literally yeah. like dedicate one like episode each yeah. to like those, but yeah. but it's we'll definitely it do those yeah, later on. But this was sure. a good like intro, kind of yeah. talk about. High school, what we did. All those memories. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Awesome, awesome. Cool, cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next episode. Cool. Take it awesome. easy. Awesome, yeah.